Watch this video without skipping a single part to make your resume better than anyone else. I'm going to share you three most important points in this video. That is format, sequence, and how to make your resume ATS friendly. Believe me, this resume will take you to the interview of any company. When I applied for TCS, I cleared the test within the first attempt itself. And during a time of interview, HR was very much impressed with my resume. Because while creating the resume, I mainly maintain three most important things. That is clean, concise and consistent. I'm going to share you all these important things with you. So I highly recommend you to stay till the end of this video. Also at the end, I'm going to share you one added bonus tip. So please stay till the end of this video to get best out of it. I'm Pramod Bosle working in TCS for nearly three years for Innovator Profile. Just in case, if you are new to our channel, please, please, please do subscribe to the channel because it motivates me to bring some new videos to you. Now, without any further delay, let's proceed with the video. The first point is design. While making the resume, make sure that your resume is only of one page. As you are a fresher, it is not expected from you to have more than two pages in your resume. Even after having three years of experience to me, I still prefer to keep my resume of only one page. Also at the same time, make sure that you are using proper fonts and the spacing between your lines. Try not to use any fancy fonts in your resume. Also at the same time, make only black colors to your font. Don't try to decorate your resume by using different colors for every single different line or the subtopic. Make sure at the end, you download your resume in the PDF format only. Content. Now this is one of the most important part of your resume, so please watch it carefully. I'm going to explore each point in more de detail manner. While creating the resume, make sure that you are not mentioning any fake content on your resume. Try to mention only those things which are necessary and in which you are confident at. Also at the same time, mention the things on your resume in the bullet points form. Please avoid the spelling mistakes if they are any. Now let's explore each point of the content in more detailed manner. Header. The header of the resume should contain your name in the most bold format. And below your name, there should have your phone number, email ID, LinkedIn ID, and coding profile links if you have any. Please make sure that you are not to mention the address on your resume because the recruiters are not going to come at your home. Education. While mentioning the education, make sure that you are mentioning your education in reverse order. That is, the current qualification should come first followed by the previous qualification. During the time of mentioning your education, mention these three important things. The name of your college, the branch in which you are studying, and the grades. Internship. If you have any kind of internship, you can add on your resume in the form of experience. Believe me, as a fresher, having the internship on your resume will give you the added bonus and also it will have a different kind of impression during a time of interview. But don't worry, if you don't have any internship, it's not compulsory to have it because there is one replacement if you don't have an internship. While mentioning about your internship, try to remember these things. The name of the company, description about your work, the technology in which you work, and the timeline of your internship. Projects The projects becomes one of the most important part on your resume because it simply indicates how much application you know about the technology which you learned. Also at the same time, make sure that you are not mentioning more than two projects on your resume because two projects are sufficient on your project. While mentioning the projects on your resume, remember these things. The name of your project, description about your project, technology you used to implement that project, and if possible, you can also mention the link of your project. Skills. Again, the skills becomes the important part because as a fresher, that is the only second thing we can have to showcase our important things. But while mentioning the skills, make sure that you are not mentioning every single little thing. Try to mention only those things in which you are really confident and you are really good at. Divide your skills into the two sections, that is first is programming language. Inside the programming language, you can mention the language in which you are really good at. But please make sure that you are mentioning only two to three languages. Framework. Inside the framework, you can mention the framework in which you are really good at. You can also mention those framework which you use in your project like ReactJS, Spring Boot and Angular. So this was a brief video on how to have a proper resume during a time of a college or for any fresher. Just in case, if you have even learned a small thing from this video, do like the video. Let me know in the comment section which is the one thing that you really liked about this video. 
and just in case if you are new to the channel do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos till then see you in the next video